In Hong Kong, if you're mad at someone or want to get their evil spirits out, you can print their face on a piece of paper and come to one bridge. And under that bridge, you will find a dozen grandmas in their 70s and 80s who are ready to beat their faces down with a shoe. Yes, it's a real thing, and it's called which means villain hitting. The purpose is to cure someone's enemy by using a kind of evil voodoo magic. And it blows my mind how popular it is. It's a voodoo ritual where you can really hate on a person that you don't want to. And as you're talking, I can hear in the background this <laughs> yeah. lady just slamming the shoe. Yeah. Can you ask her how old is she? They get us sorry about that, Mom. Bass of Sam. Bass of Sam. Bass of Sam. 83. She says she basically does it for the people, not for herself anymore. So it's very satisfying for her. And people actually pay her way more money than what she asked for. Many people come here to get rid of an ex lover, a mean boss, or simply someone they hate. They flock under the bridge in the middle of the workday in full uniform when the streets are mobbed with people and get their hatred out through these ladies for the small cost of six dollars. So Deanna is drawing a mystery figure who we're gonna keep anonymous and we're gonna beat the hell out of his face for the video. Deanna! Deanna! Deanna. Their process is simple. Say a bunch of curse words in Cantonese while slamming the paper until it breaks. Then lighting it on fire and throwing it away in the bin. And he's gone. It's a very interesting sight to see. Then doing all sorts of random things that will make you think twice about what you signed up for. I feel like all the bad spirits are gone. So yeah, if you guys ever come to Hong Kong and you want to get some aggression out, come here. What did you think about it? It's a very different experience. Thank you. Oh, good <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm Drew Binsky, and if you like my travel videos, please click subscribe and join me as I plan to visit every country in the world. It's electric, it's sexy, it's tasty, it's confusing, but above all, it's futuristic. The Japanese are innovators. They somehow figured